are seed oils bad or good for us? So yeah, seed oils are super misunderstood right now, okay. I think. They're, they're quite villainized as like this reason for our health issues. The thing about them is they don't have really a lot of new, like redeeming qualities in terms of like nutrients mm -hmm. within them outside of their fatty acid profile. But they're just a polyunsaturated fatty acid. There is not good data that they're harmful to our health. So some added context here. A couple of things she said, I fully agree with. A couple of things need a little bit more data. So seed oils in small quantities, probably not gonna kill you, especially if they're not heated. If you're using a salad dressing that has canola oil or high oleic sunflower oil, it's probably not a huge issue. The problem is when these polyunsaturated fats get exposed to high heat, many of them turn into rancid or trans fats, which are highly inflammatory to the body. The other issue, as she mentioned, is when you're consuming high amounts of omega-6 fatty acids, but not enough omega-3s, you throw off the omega-6 to omega-3 balance in your body. And when that is thrown off, it does lead to an inflammatory cascade. When your body is inflamed like that, especially your brain, it has a hard time shutting down the stress cascade. So hormones like cortisol stay elevated. They ended up leading to fat storage. So there's an indirect relationship between seed oils and inflammation and obesity. Also, seed oils are produced under high heat. So many of them are heated to extremely high temperatures up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And during the creation process, they don't look very appealing. So the seed oils need to be bleached. They need to be deodorized. Oftentimes companies are using known neurotoxins like hexane to clean them. So the finished product, while it's probably fine in small doses, definitely should not be overconsumed. And the matter of fact is, tons of these seed and vegetable oils are in ultra processed foods that are made under high heat. So not only are the oils exposed to high heat during their processing, but then when they're added to these ultra processed foods, they're exposed again. That's where you get the trans fats and the rancid fats that lead to inflammation. So some more context is needed here. There's also some studies showing that substituting seed oils in place of saturated fats, things that are more natural, things like tallow or lard, actually leads to worse outcomes. So there is a little bit of data there, but it's extremely hard to map from correlation to causation here, because in order to do a randomized control trial, you'd basically have to put people on a processed food or seed and vegetable oil diet for 10 years. And that's just not practical and not ethical.